Welcome back. So we are in Red Rocks Canyon State Park in California. And oh my God, the wind is just buffeting the truck. But um, it's $6 to park here for the day. In the day, you start, the camping spots are 25 bucks and there's no hookups. Um, but we are gonna head up the road. toward Lone Pine. Yeah, the visitor center was closed. I've never been here when it's open. They have a nice amphitheater. Not even close to the campground. I don't understand that. But we are going back to Highway 14. Oh my god, there's a dry wash there. It had signs to Dove Springs. and It looks like you could drive on it drive in it in the wash they had a uh, road going down to it but I'm gonna need to change this memory card soon let me slow down here put my glasses on and look 37 minutes so Three o'clock, I gotta stop, change the memory card. I'm only using about half a tank of diesel a day. And for the most part, maybe one memory card. Um, which is nice, I'm not, you know, killing myself, driving too much and filming too much. I'm really trying to take it easy and relax and rest and not spend a lot of money. Wow, no cars coming. So when I accelerate to go up this hill, I get five miles per gallon. <laughs> I've actually never been here when it's cloudy either. It's kind of weird. Probably turn the AC off. There's only one more stop I hope to do before here in the campground and don't know if I'll do it today. It has um, unusual lava, old lava features and lava rocks. But I will see a lot of that in Arizona potentially. Not sure what part of Arizona I'll be in yet. I might only be in the southern half if it's cold, but it's still in the northern half. Haven't really watched the weather for the past week. Um, so I don't know what's going on in the, in the country. I know it's raining in Washington, that's it, back home. I could basically get home in two days if I wanted to. I would just um, drive in the cold weather and, you know, potentially try and stop at KOAs and rent a cabin for 60 bucks, 50 bucks. I mean, if I had to, I could rent a hotel room, you know, but that would be like 150 bucks. I don't plan on going home yet. I hope to be on the road for at least two to three more weeks. Last. That truck is all over the road. <laughs> 
just as I passed him, he went into my lane. Now that'd be fun. Back up to 3,000 feet. Ugh. I should get Instagram because I can put Instagram pictures up before I get my YouTube videos up. If people were that patient to see some of these. Two nights there. 
Oh, I never thought I would get a camp in Death Valley. Awesome. I hope I do. I will somewhere. Lone Pine, 81 miles. My campsite is 77. And the, the road to Death Valley is just south. It's, or it's right around the area where I'm spending the night tonight. So everything I need tomorrow morning is in one place. Subway at 21 miles. I could get subway. I haven't had subway in years. It does sound good. I I need to quit um, thinking about food. I'm not hungry. I just haven't ate a lot of real food for a while. Almost a week. I'm not actually hungry either. My stomach is not growling. Good service, cell phone service out here. This truck Wi Fi is awesome. I can't uh, speak highly enough about it. If you buy a new car, make sure you have built in Wi Fi and you can get a data plan. Um, I know Chevy does it, GMC. I hope all the car companies do it by now. I'm not sure though. Every car should have a Wi-Fi option built in. I only pay $15 a month, too. down too. Uh, oh well. Sometimes you can't help everyone. There's 
a ghost town. Right here, I guess. Huh. A robber's roost back there. So 
off in the distance to the right is Ridgecrest and the China Lake Naval Air Station. Um, supposedly there's more millionaires in Ridgecrest. It's because of all of the civilians working at the, um, the uh, Naval Air Station make so much money because it's all um, like advanced new secret weapons and stuff. They're all very smart elect electrical engineers or electronics people, I guess you would call it. And it's not that expensive of a place to live, <laughs> I don't think. Ridgecrest is a pretty big town. I want to say it has 10 to 20,000 people somewhere in there. festival in Lone Pine is in October. I was thinking it was in the spring for some reason. I, I could live in Lone Pine too. I love that town. You 
probably see a lot of famous people once in a while with all the movies they do, especially if you ran a business. It'd be a fun place to have a burger shack. Ah, I love it out here. Like, these are my peoples that live in the desert, I think. Like, I want to be... You know, I don't want to be around a lot of people, and I love the beauty, and I love the scenery, and I love the things you can do. Like, this makes me happy. Not living in the city. I don't want to live in the city. When I was, when you're young, I understand why you want to live in the city, but past those days. Actually on 395 North now. We just passed the merge. Sixty-three miles, and I need to stop in the next nine minutes. We should probably just start looking for a place. I think there's a gas station coming up on the right. Yeah, we're down to, oh no, never mind. We're at 28.5 miles per gallon for this tank. I think it's the, one of the highest tanks we've got. We would be in the 30s if it wasn't for the wind. Yeah, you do not want to get um, gas in, in uh, Death Valley. It's a lot. Wow, I see. There's a bunch of cop cars. Two cop cars with lights on going south. Oh, there's a big... I think they're escorting a big load. Because now there's a big load coming with more cops. By them. Wow. I wonder if they're taking up the entire road. I think they are. Wow. Yeah, he's taking up two lanes. I've never seen police escort like that before. Not that many cars behind him, surprisingly. Oh, I look left to the Sierra Nevada mountains now. I'm seeing my first snow in the mountains. Since I started going on this road. service. Five bars.
mile, there's a turn off it looks like. I wonder if that's BLM land. It would be fun to camp back in there. I need to, there's an app supposedly that tells you if you're on public land. I need to find that app. Buy it if I have to. turn here. Brown Road. I don't want to risk it. Alright, so I'm not sure how we're breaking this video up, but um, be right back. Alright, so <laughs> I probably say that too much. Alright, I need to think of another word. Um, but I just changed the memory card. So I had an old memory card. I, have, I don't know when I used it last. And it gave me an error, so I had to format it. And I wonder if it's a new one I've never used Turn before. Turn right to US 395. Um... But we are getting back on 395 North. And I was also able to start uploading another video. I'm on my third one today. Proceed 55 miles on US 395. Yeah, it's, it's, if I have three bars in the campground, I will be able to get um, some good reception. miles to go we might just have to break up red rocks to lone pine and make like three videos out of it there's just no um, landmarks or features on you know between here and there the other good thing is the campground's not that busy so I won't have to share the cell phone bandwidth like if you were there in the summer oh I could have pulled over at this gas station I, this is the gas station I thought was coming up and I was just running out of time I didn't want to risk the camera shutting off 619 for diesel that is not bad not bad at all this is the Inyo County line though. Welcome to Inyo County. it would be sunny still because the lighting would be awesome um, and I'm not driving into the sun but this will still turn out good I think I hope Yeah, 
could take four or five hours for my batteries to charge. Um, I'm gonna plug in the battery pack, get it all ready for Death Valley tomorrow. Kennedy Meadows exit 25 miles to the left and then you go it's where the uh, PCT Pacific Crest Trail enters the Sierra Nevada mountains the heart of the mountains I think it's part of the John Muir Trail at that point or close to it I wish I would have made it that far at least you know when I stopped in Tehachapi I wish I could have made it to here once you get to here um, your only way out is Mammoth Lakes or I'm trying to think Mammoth Lakes and then um, that's your easiest way out um, if the road's open that, and, oh gosh then you, you might almost have to go to Tahoe and then from there it's, uh, it's Yosemite or no Yosemite is before Tahoe You have to carry food for like 10 to 14 days depending on how fast you are is what it's recommended. Uh, that That's like the probably the ultimate hike in the entire world in my opinion doing that section from Kennedy Meadows to Lake Tahoe. I mean doing the desert was fun too that could be up there. I did, you know, the Mexican border to Tehachapi. To, to that was pretty spectacular. Can't think of many places in the world you could do that. People come from all over the world to hike this trail. It's gotten so popular. You have to get permits now, which sucks. Not only that, well, you've always had to get permits, but back in the day when I did it, you can get a permit and start whenever you want it. Now they're time permits. They tell you what day you have to start. They're trying to spread people out. It's so busy. Someday they'll probably have a lottery. It's gonna get so busy. You know. I don't know. is windy now because the wind is coming from the west and the mountains it's blocking the wind it didn't feel that windy when I pulled over and changed the memory card I need to get I need to do some memory card management um, get everything situated I think I have used every one once after the one I'm using right now I 
almost wanted to need to buy another pass passbook or whatever they call it, a little hard drive. The little ones you can put in your pocket. You can't work. not the big ones. They're only five giga five terabytes, but the bigger ones are like eight to ten terabytes, but they're so much bigger in size. I got tired of buying the big ones. By chance I really love it here I'll spend another night I love I just love this area and get a lot of stuff done too maybe Eastern Sierra Scenic Byway. I forgot about that. So we're going to end the video right here. 